Boom. Boom. It's working. All right. All right. Here we are live. I know. And, and we're, someone and, said, and, someone, someone, the reason I'm here this morning is a friend of mine said, hey, what's going on? So I'm in hot yoga. She, she owns the studio. I'm in hot yoga. I'm like, I should find out. Well, and it gives me a chance to ask you how you're doing. So I'm here with, I'm here with Dr. Gail Newell, who's a friend of the show. She's been on a couple of times. And we've had a blast. You have fun, huh? Yeah. Let me make sure this thing's it's still fun. working. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's fun. fun. Yeah. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. So we kind of want we kind of want to know we kind of want to know what's going on. Can we talk about what's going on with you or no? Sure. We can. Yeah. We'll, talk, we'll leave that in, we'll leave that off to the sidebar. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we're, where what's going on today? What, where are we with COVID? Because I have no idea. Yeah. So we've had increasing case rates. Yeah. Numbers of cases for the last seven weeks. We're in okay. our eighth week of rising cases. But I don't hear I don't hear like we had a couple of years ago where people are dying. Right. Like people are like, we heard the death count, millions, and we watch the death count in each in each county. I'm like, oh my God, we might die from this thing. It doesn't sound like anybody's dying from it anymore. Well, there are still some deaths happening, even here in Santa Cruz County. We've had three in the past month. Okay. Um, all three were elders who were unvaccinated. Okay. So um, just a reminder, especially to our folks, 50 and over, um, right. these folks were in their 80s and 90s. But people 50 and over really need to make sure they're vaccinated and boosted. Okay. We want everyone vaccinated. Or and double boosted. boosted in some cases. Double yeah. boosted. So, yay, good job, Neil. Thank you. Double boosted. Right. But I will say about being double boosted, I went, you know, I got my boost, my shot at Watsonville Target, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, I've never been in there before. But it's like five acres. That's like huge. <laughs> it's huge. Are yes. you in there? Yes. It is huge. <laughs> so I'm in line, right? And I, I, wait, I finally I wait my turn. I get him in for the vaccination. I sit down. So I happened to ask the guy. I said, hey, let me ask you a question. I, I mean, you may not be asked, but I don't know. He goes, how many people, and this place is busy, how many people uh, have got their shot today? That's their boosted shot. He goes, you're the only one. Wow. It was 2 yeah. o'clock in the afternoon. I was the only one. And the place was packed. Well, I have to admit the messaging from the CDC and California Department of Public Health has been confusing around the second booster because we just don't have super great evidence that it's super effective, uh, especially for younger people. What's, what's, what's not effective? The booster? The second booster. Okay, it's not? Yeah. Well, we just don't have enough evidence okay. yet. Okay. Yeah. And so... Um, I hope I didn't waste my time because the next day I felt like crap again. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that means that the, you're building up more immunity. Oh, okay. Yeah, if That's, you feel crummy like that, like, it's because like your, your immune response is okay. working. <clears throat> so um, the reason that we have fewer hospitalizations, fewer deaths, despite a rising case rate, <clears throat> is that um, vaccines work. They work. They, they work to prevent infection but not 100%, of course. There's lots of vaccinated people getting COVID. But when we get COVID and we're vaccinated, it's mild, yeah. generally right. speaking. Right. And so the vaccines are very effective at preventing hospitalizations, yeah. serious illness, death. Um, so they're working in that regard. Okay. Where do you see the issue of masks coming? I know business is going to be pushed back from people who, if you, if you decide that you want to that you say we have to wear masks in here, there, and here, there, and where, the people are going to push back, going, you know what, no. Yeah. I I'm done with it. We're, so, we're, not going, we're not going down that road. So just a reminder that we're strongly recommending still indoor masking. Okay. And you and I are unmasked because we're outdoors, it's breezy out here, right. much lower risk. Right. But if we were indoors, we'd be wearing masks right. at my insistence because they are still strongly recommended. Right. Now, some counties, like LA County, has said that once they get to a high community transmission level with the CDC, um, an orange level, uh, that they will institute mandatory indoor masking again. Do you see us put, having to do that again here? I hope not. Okay. Um, we're in the medium community transmission, not yeah. community, the um, medium, yes, community level of risk. That's a yellow with the CDC. Is it kind of flat? Is it kind of flat line, or is it is it more or it's is it been, up and down? It's been going up for Has the it? last eight weeks. And what can we do to prevent that going um, up? Do you think? Stay home if you're sick. Okay. Um, if you have been exposed to someone with COVID, you should be masking continuously. You don't have to stay home anymore. No right. home quarantine, but masking. 
Um, and then wear your mask indoors or in outdoor crowded situations. Okay. And it should be a well-fitting mask. We know now that the old cloth masks, yeah. the simple masks, don't work that well. Uh huh. Those don't work that well, even Fauci though it's mask really no good? cute. Yeah. Dr. Fauci, no good. So now they okay. recommend surgical masks or N95s okay. or KN95s. So you can buy those where? You can buy them almost anywhere now. Okay. Yeah. And a COVID test free. Still, COVID or no? tests are still free. And you can get those where? And you can get those at OptumServe um, or a lot of other places as well. Okay. Um, OptumServe has three locations now in Santa Cruz County. You can just Google testing Santa Cruz County. It'll okay. come right up or go to santacruzhealth.org. All right. And all of this is on there. And then in addition, OptumServe is now doing test to treat. So if you have a pot so I got free, the, I all got, free. All free. So I got the second vaccination. So mm -hmm. I'm actually, I'm, I'm as about as good as, good as I can do right yes, now, right? Yes, you are. Right. Even though I got a blood clot. So even, yeah. by the way, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are going to write in and go, hey Neil, you got your, you got your blood clot from a vaccination. I did not, because I had a blood clot 15 years ago. So I'm just something that I happen <laughs> to suffer from. So it had nothing to do with the vaccine. So how about the monkeypox thing going around? Wait, wait, wait. So we won't we won't expect anything. We don't expect any mask mandates coming out here within the next couple of weeks. No. Okay, we should be okay. We should be okay. The summer. Oh, yeah, even. With We're hoping things are going to level out here okay. and then decrease. We're watching closely for the Omicron subvariants BA four and five that okay. are in Europe and making a big surge in Europe happen. Um, and so that may happen later in summer or fall here, but not yet. What happens if you do reinstate the mask mandate and people push back? Is that something you can police or you like, what, because if, you know, if you have a hundred businesses that are pushing back, it's tough to police everybody. I think businesses would like an order in place because in general business owners and employees want to see their customers, the public masked up. Um, and they would appreciate an order. Um, yeah. They still have the right at this point to enforce it in their own business. Okay. But you're right, there would be pushback. People are exhausted Done. from all of this. Right? Yeah. I think a lot of people, maybe business owners. Yeah. Uh, what do we have? We've got monkeypox. We've got, uh, monkeypox. We just, we just talked about it. It was gross. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it's related to smallpox. It's uh, transmitted with close personal contact. So. Um, you and I would be at essentially no risk if one of us had monkeypox to spread it to the other person. Um, right now, it's mostly being transmitted from men having sex with men. So um, they're getting these really ugly, awful lesions in the genital and mouth areas, and um, there's no treatment. Right. Um, and the, there can be some relief with a smallpox vaccine. Where do these things come from? I mean, monkeypox, all of a sudden, now it's on the news a year ago. We could go. Now I'm talking to you about it. Was it something you go, uh oh, there's something down the road here? It's been um, ongoing in small numbers yeah. in some countries in Africa and yeah. elsewhere in the world. Um, and it's now m making a global appearance. Okay. So we have two cases in Sacramento and none here. One confirmed in Sacramento, okay, one confirmed. possibly another. All right, so be careful out there. Yeah. Let's talk about what yeah. else you want well, to say. Well, how about flu? Let's talk about flu yeah. because um, flu season, as you know, usually happens like December, January, February. Right. This year, because we were all masking during Omicron, we didn't have flu then. We have flu now when right. we've I, all unmasked. Yeah. I heard it's been going around. Yeah. Right. So we've actually had some very serious flu cases and even deaths here locally. Yeah. And so a reminder um, for everyone to take the usual flu precautions. So stay home if you're sick, wash your hands, get tested if you're an elder and might need uh, or chronically ill and might yeah. need some Tamiflu. Okay. So. Watch out for the flu. Mm -hmm. and it may not be. You may, you may not have COVID. You may have the flu. You may have the flu, right? right. And they present very similarly. Well, I'm going to talk about you for a second because you're you're a brave lady, mm. and you just you, <laughs> you 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 shocked me a few months ago when you told me that you had cancer, and uh, I'm like, God, Jesus Christ, this what, what more can you? What, <laughs> what, how many hits can yeah, you give take? Give me a break, right? <laughs> right? How many hits? How many hits can you take? Yeah, so I was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer in August of last year, and now I've completed surgery, chemo, and radiation. Yep. I'm back at work yeah. and uh, fighting away here, fighting a, a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. So it must have been a bit of a. How was that for a 
a yes, blow. my post my post COVID party <laughs> kind of spoiled my post COVID party did, didn't for it? sure. Yeah, but you know, but you, you decided okay, one foot in front of the other, I'm going to kick its ass. Yes, and then I had really great help from my two deputy health officers, Dr. Gila Ducci, mm -hmm. who's been on your show, and mm -hmm. Dr. Gordon. He's a good guest, by the way. Uh, he's almost as good as you. He's he's pretty good at the dad jokes. He's good at the dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does. And what's funny? I think I told him, hey, we, I do the jokes, dude. Yeah, you're just kidding. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. it's good to see you healthy. Thank I like you. the new do. Thank you. Yeah. Short haircut looks good. Yeah, post, low maintenance. Post chemo cut. <laughs> post chemo. I want to thank you. <laughs> thank you, Neil. All right, my dear. Thanks for the interview. Be careful out there, everybody. Right. Be Wear careful. your mask indoors. Wear your mask indoors. Okay.